Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Spy Hunter, running on MAME on my Nintendo Wii. I apologise because it's a little bit glitchy. Some of the sound is a little bit awkward, um, and I think there's a little bit of tearing at the top of the screen, but I really, really want to do a gameplay of the arcade version. I've done a gameplay of the Spectrum version, which is obviously a port of this, as it was an arcade machine by Midway, released in 1983, and I've done a gameplay of the Clicker version, which is absolutely amazing port. Now, if you're of my generation, this is, you know, one of those games everyone remembers from back in the day and pretty much everyone adored. Um, it came in sit-down form and came up in stand-up cabinet form and I still remember walking into Minehead, that arcade in Minehead I was going about and the sound in this, you know, the yeah, I can't sing, what are you going to do? Uh, was just louder, more prevalent than every other machine in the arcade, and I've never forgotten it. Now, it's a futuristic driving game. Basically, it's a scrolling shooter, uh, where you're in a, you know, a state-of-the-art car, where you can get upgrades when you drive into the back of lorries like that. You can get a smoke screen, um, oil slick, they come out the back of the car, and you get a rocket, which you'll need for the helicopters, and you've got a standard of machine guns. Various enemies, you know, you can go off the road, which is really, really difficult, because you have to time it, you move them perfectly to go down like a little canal, or channel, sorry, to, you know, go onto a canal and then turn into a motorboat. And what was interesting was, uh, clearly it's inspired by James Bond, and it was originally going to be a licensed James Bond game. So I don't know what happened with that, you know, what movie was that? That would have, might have been, because there was two movies. There was um, Never Say Never Again, which is the unofficial Bond movie, which is a remake of Thunderball, even though it's got Connery, and there was Octopussy in 1983, I believe. Anyway, I've waffled long enough. I haven't played the actual IK version in Donkey's years, so I'm probably going to suck Donkey's balls at it, right? Put somebody in. That's what I mean about the sound being a bit weak. Right, uh, yeah, to do the weapons on the um, the arcade machine, I don't know how that's gonna work on a, a GameCube pad, you had three buttons on this amazing yoke that looks so cool. Like, almost like, you know, fruit machine buttons. And, um, right, press the, there we go. And uh, they would do, you know, smoke screen on a slick, which would destroy what was behind you, and rocket launcher. There's the music, although it's coming out very badly. It still reminds me of epicness. Bye. Um, so I don't know how it's going to work on this. On the Spectrum, you know, it was stuff like on oh, some of these armour. You can bang them off the road, though. Look, yeah, you would press left uh, and fire at the same time, hold them down, and that way you'd stop firing your machine guns. And you would obviously do your slick right and fire for smoke screen, and just fire by or up and fire for. Oh, don't go for the water! Shit. Um, up and fire to do the missile, which is the only way you can beat the helicopter. There was a trick on the Spectrum. I'm pretty shit. Oh fuck, pretty sure, look at this prick, you can do it in the arcade, which is the minute you respawn and come out the back of a lorry, so drive straight up into the back of it and keep moving with it and no enemy cars appear. It might have even been on the Commodore as well. As you can see, are these blokes the armoured ones? Nope, there are armoured people, they're also little cars with like little spinning jack nine wheel thingies, like you know, Bond. Is he trying to shoot me out the window? The variety of enemies is there is what I'm basically saying. I got time at the top, I got points at the top. Hey, send them then through the puddles, clears the road. Right, there'll be a fork. Oi! Um, yeah. I mean, it's completely linear. Whether it was completely linear for 1983, I don't know. But I fucking love this game. Maybe because I love Bond as well back in the day. Oh shit. Right, frisky, frisky. I don't know if the game's even got an end. I'm going to stay on the left because I'm pretty sure that's where the first point to... Uh, get off the road into one. Oh, hang on. Come here. There we go. Sweet. Uh, yeah, got off the road into the boat. Right. Hang on. So now I've got... What have I got? There you go. Oil slick. Look. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, you little prick. I've lost it now. Firing at me from the side of the road. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Can I do the trick here? I don't know, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm staying with him, it looks like no one comes. Ah, cheaty cheaty, apart from this little red bastard. Right, it must be Blofeld. Oh shit. 
Oh no, I don't. It just actually they do still keep coming. It just limits the number of them. Ah, fuck you, motorbike boy. All oh, right, hang on. Right, am I got a chance to go off road now? Oh no, look at this. Shit. Do you have to stay in for a game over? Piss off. Please don't say I have to start all over again. Your score ranking is a let. Really? That's weak. I don't like that. Well, you know, games were made of sterner stuff back then. Or we were. Right, I'm just legging it now. I wonder if that is. He, are these bad guys? Because some of them don't seem to be doing anything. So am I just massively killing pedestrians and other pedestrians? Sorry, other road users? Wow. Well, you know, let's be honest, some real life spies aren't particularly nice, are they? Just ask the bloke who got locked inside a suitcase. Right. Come on. Ooh. Right, so I'm presuming I have to keep oil slick or smoke screen, and that's the main way to get rid of those little twats with the, the wheels that come out. Oh, fuck. Bollocks, lost control. I'm going to shoot you. Can I shoot you? You could on the spectrum. Oh, you can't on here. Oh, yeah, you can. Sorry. You know, who said it was a farewell? Have I got time? Or was that just my score? Oh, no points for him. Ah, so he is innocent then, I guess. I don't know. And Spy Must Kill. Obviously, this franchise, you know, spawned more remakes or reimaginings, you know, on the PlayStation 2 and stuff. Maybe the GameCube? Years and years, years later. Oh, fuck, now I need you. Come here. No, you don't. Oh, fucking asshole. Considering you're my fucking tech guy, why can't you shoot him? Just, I don't know, throw a rocket out the window or something. There we go. Come on, tech guy. Sweet. Why don't you just drop me out the back like Knight Rider? Why do I have to pull over? Does it run out? I don't know. Fuck! It's that bastard. He always gets me. I need an upgrade now. There's no way I'm going to beat those little spindly bastards. Unless I can drop on my anchors. Right, that's my game plan. No, you don't. No, you don't. Right, here they come. Drop back. Oh, bollocks. Well, there you go. Spy Hunter in the arcade by Bally Midway. Running, you know, not perfectly on my Wii, but a game I absolutely adored when I was a kid. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.